Hello everyone, welcome back. Certification or interview questions from RAML or API. We can expect five to seven questions from this topic in certification. So this is one of the important topic to clear the certification exam. Same like a data paper. Okay. And you know, these questions are also combined with query parameters and URL parameters and with some schemas. Okay, so let us look into the first question from this topic. A company has an API to manage orders. The API built using RAML as per the mules of best practices. So the question is, what is a valid RAML to specify a method to update the details of a specific order? Okay, to update the details of a specific order. Okay. That means let's say we have a RAML in this way. Order ID patch. So that means what is expected URL? Application.com orders order ID. Okay, but this is not the expected one because as for the question to update their specific order. Specific order means we need to provide the order ID as an input and then that should update the details of that order ID. Means I want to update the details of order 100 or I want to update the details of order 101. So when you want to send Order ID as input parameter, then this should be in a curly braces. So when we give like this, it is expecting value from the uh, as a URI parameter in a URL. Okay. So let me go to this. So what is the correct option for that? Orders order ID patch. So this is not the correct answer. B, no, and C. So C is the correct answer. Orders, order ID in curly braces, and then patch. So this is update. And here we are, you know, to update details of a specific order. Specific order means, you know, it is expecting value as an input parameter. So answer is C for this question. D, you know, this is query parameter. And this is completely wrong. So C is the answer. So let us move on to the next question. What data is expected by post employee input? Means what is the expected payload to post an employee to this endpoint? So let us look into the options. And before that, see here, description create an employee body Application JSON means it is expecting input in JSON format. An example, name, phone, hire date, employee, sorry, email. Okay. So let us look into the options. So A, this is XML. B is also XML. So we can simply remove these options and then C. And D, these two are in a JSON format, and A and B is in a XML format. Okay, so let us compare C and D now. So, what all are our values that we have in a schema? Name, phone, hired email. Name, phone, hired email. ID we have in C. ID is extra here. And then D, name, phone, hired email. So, D is the correct answer for this. Okay, to create an employee, we need to post or we need to send the request message in this format. So D is the correct answer. So let us look into the next question. The RAML specification includes a resource and method to retrieve employee by department and work type. So what is the correct URL to get all contract HCM employees? So this is the 
parameter that we need to observe. Okay. What is the correct URL to get all contract HCM employees? Means work type should be contract, department should be HCM. Okay, so let us look into the options. Option A. So this, see here you can see in a RAML query parameters. Query parameter one is work type and query parameter two is department. So query parameter means we need to provide in a URL after question mark and then query parameter name equal the value. Okay. So let us see option A. So this is like a URA parameter employees forward slash contract forward slash ECM. So in this way we will send URA parameter values but not query parameters. So A is not correct. B. So employees forward slash work type equal contract and department equal HCM. But here we should expect query parameter, sorry, question mark. After question mark only we'll send query parameter and then that query parameter value. So B is also not correct. C, employees question mark, perfect, work type and here it should have equal, not colon. So C is also not correct. So let us look into the D. Employees question mark work type equal to contract and department equal to HCM. So this is the correct answer. So D is the correct answer for this to get all contract HCM employees. Okay. So let us move on to the next one. So data types, few points from RAML API kit. I want to just share you share with you these details. So, you know, this is very huge topic and we can expect questions from data types and from fragments or from examples, how to include them into the RAML, uh, you know, uh, some schemas, schema level, and also they'll give some screenshots of a request message. And let's say we are using a postman and they'll give a screenshot of error in the postman that let's say that is giving some uh, invalid uh, content type. Means our integration is expecting XML as a payload, but you are sending a JSON. So content type you are giving wrong. So in that case, you need to change that content type to XML and then send the request. So if, how they'll ask that question is they'll give you, give you that uh, postman screenshot with error message and then they'll give you options like what we need to change. You know, update the content type to JSON and send the request or so something like that. Okay, so from my analysis, so these are the points. So RAML data types are mentioned as types. In questions, they'll also give some options with data types. So remember that data types in RAML will mention as types, not data types, okay? And example files are referenced as exclamatory include, not reference okay example files are referenced as include not reference so remember this some options they will give as a reference and some as include okay just go with include what is the purpose of api router element in api kit so they will give four options so this is the answer validates the request against raml api specification and routes them to API implementations. Okay, this is a simple definition for API kit. Validates the request against RAML API specifications and routes them to API implementations. Okay, so what path should be given to redirect the flow to API kit router? What path? Forward slash star. So this is the answer, you know, so this is end of RAML.
thank you guys but you know for ramel to clear the certification you need to practice more okay don't forget that thank you guys thank you very much and good luck with your certification